Hello replay viewers. This is uh, this little boat arrived uh, a few nights ago for uh, entertaining the, the tourists, so I thought I'd share it with you. I was driving through the waterfront. Hi Karen, hi Paul. I was driving past the waterfront and pulled in and said, wouldn't this be a nice scope? The sun is finally out too. And so it's gonna be a lovely day. I have some boat work to take care of. And so I'm, I've already done one errand and I'm on my way back from the laundry and it's gonna be a little boat project uh, this morning. But this is a nice, nice treat to see this. Well, I was on Star for three weeks. Uh, but now, now there's other things to take care of. And, and my chances of being at a dock are pretty getting, getting pretty close to zero. So I have to, to <laughs> use my, my chances at the dock. Um, well, I can, because it's a real pain to, to go out in a dinghy. If you forget something, or you need something, then it's a trip, especially if the tide is running. I, I'm going to try to get my outboard motor running. Yeah, this is quite a ship. It doesn't seem to have a name on the stern, so I'm a little perplexed, uh, but there's a sign up ahead, and we'll walk up to it. So I've been doing vertical, now we'll go horizontal. Whoop. I hope I wasn't, uh, I hope I wasn't cut off. take a little walk. There's a little bit of a breeze so I don't think the wind noise is, is too bad. Yeah I think we were cut off. I don't know. A text message came in. It's probably a little difficult being being crew on this boat because people are strolling by and they all want to yell down hello. It's still here. All right thank you Luke. So we're going to see the name in just a second. I'm going to make a guess that's Portuguese. Anyone, anyone want to make a guess here? Oh, there's another text message. Quiet. I knew I should have turned off notifications. So there's one, one man uh, puttering around. Hello, Andrew. There's one man puttering around. Ooh, at the tilt way up. Spanish, okay. And you can see the sail has a little bit of uh, scuff, scuff marks. Uh, no, I can't imagine crossing the ocean on this. Probably because you'd have to steer the whole time. I'm looking for the wheel, or maybe it's a tiller. This looks like a uh, quite a manually uh, intensive boat. So I do not see. Does anyone see how, see how you steer this ship? What's the deal with this thing? Uh, I don't know. All I know is this sign, oh, which doesn't no playing golf. which doesn't say oh, much. Sign. That's pretty funny. It's the here we are, the Santa Maria. So maybe it's a recreation of Columbus's boat. Oh, here you go, dude! It's the Santa Maria. So there's a there's a guy talking to someone on Facebook or something. I have to get away from. Get away from that noise. There's someone in there having breakfast, so it's a very small, small... Cr yeah, where do you... Uh, the sleeping arrangements must be fairly spartan. Look at this massive anchor. The, uh, the sun angle is really great for looking west. Is that a compass above the gangway? And then we have... <laughs> he's, it's too early in the morning for this guy to be intoxicated, but he's awfully loud. I do not see a compass. <laughs> you know, does anybody actually say bro in real life? Uh, that, that's too weird. What happened to proper English? I had to get away from that guy. It's too early in the morning to be irritated. Yeah, bro, okay. Uh, let him walk along. We'll, we'll take a stroll back. Because this, this is the wrong angle, looking into the sun. But at least you get to see the, see the bow. This anchor looks like it has not seen much service. It's, it's too clean. There's no rust. Yeah, we don't say wicked bro, we say wicked cool. 
and you drink water from a bubbler. That's how you can tell you're from around here. And you don't drink soda, and you don't drink pop, you drink tonic. And I lost something of my Boston accent, but I still have the lingo. So a little stroll back, then I'm gonna move along. Yeah, tonic. Tonic is soda. If you're from around here, it is. So this is a short scope. We're getting near the loud guy again. Let's not have a have an argument over over local linguistic uses usages. Plymouth. Okay, so someone who's watching actually knows. Yeah. So so my non-accent is park your car. But when I get tired or excited, it's pack your car. And in my pocket, I have my khakis. Not, and I'm wearing khakis. Can you hear the difference? There is a difference between khakis and khakis. But you have to be from around here. So anyway, this scope's about the ship, not about weird accents. Walking back. I'm going to bump into that loud guy. We can listen to him. Yeah, jibber jabber. Not too many, uh, you know, it must be very dark inside. There's, there's this one, this one porthole here, light, window. How's my boat? My boat is coming along. Okay, the, the noisy guy has gone past me. Look at this massive, so the, I'd, I'd like to know how they steer it. This, this is the, the rudder with the tiller. Oop, don't bump into a post. The dangers of walking backwards, you almost hit something. They have a little uh, flap there to help keep uh, spray out. But it must be awfully dark inside. It's only these, these four windows. Well, what happened to it? All right, see you, Karen. Roddy, my, uh, my boat doesn't have, hasn't had anything happen to it. I'm just making some improvements. It's, uh, it's, sometimes it's a slow process, a lot slower than you think. Um, I'm adding a power manager, so it'll tell me how much electricity is going in and out of the batteries, which means new wires and, and installing things. I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, Admiral, I won't even try to say that, that Russian name, because I know I get it wrong. So there you go, a quick look at the little ship. I'm going to scope out and continue on and keep my day going. So we'll leave you with this lovely view. And finally, it's a sunny day get some stuff done. So everyone, thanks for popping in and keeping me company for a minute, and we'll catch you next time.